Hey, Garrett Brill down here in Texas. Uh, we're going to try a little bit different combination tonight. Previously, we flew the X-T2 with the upcoming DJI Spotlight Laser. Uh, tonight, we're going to try it with the Z-30. As most of you know that have flown with the Z-30, it does uh, pretty well in low light. Uh, we're going to see if it can't be improved with uh, adding a uh, spotlight to the situation. So we're going to kind of look at something. We've got what we have here is a same place as what we did with the X-T2. It's a relatively dark area, some lights off in the background, a little bit of city glow off in the distance. Um, there's some woods over here that we're going to go fly, something that would be similar to a search and rescue. And so we're going to go take off and we'll see the difference with and without the spotlight. All right, so we have the aircraft up in the air. Um, flew it over the woods, uh, kind of checked out the area a little bit, and gonna show you basically what, what I'm seeing here. Um, so this is the, the Z30 on by itself. There's pretty much zero light um, over these woods we're, we're flying over right now. And we're gonna see what the Z30 will do in combination with the spotlight whenever we get it, give it some light here. So let's go ahead. There's our, our current light control. Let's turn on the LED at 50%. And you can now see the trees below us. Um, and, it, and as you see, I have the, the gimbal synchronized. A um, little bit of wind there, you can see, not a whole lot. As we move the, the gimbal around, the light moves right with it. So it's always right in the middle. Now there's just, this is some kind of a concrete slab out there, a rock of some sort, but let's see if we can zoom in on that because that's kind of the idea behind it, right? So. so I can see that there's three holes even in that concrete slab. You can see the individual sticks on the ground, the little pieces of brush, and um, that's pretty good. So we can get in here, we can get right in and on the on the individual sticks of that brush. We'll look at that piece of concrete a little bit more. So we could definitely definitely be able to tell if that was an individual, a person, whatever. I can actually see the pores and the concrete on that. So that works pretty good. All right. Yeah, I mean, it would be one of those things that'd be really good to maybe confirm what you would find with the thermal or something to that extent. Uh, my altitude right now, I'm flying at basically 100 feet. Um, and the other thing we might want to look at, I know a few of you are curious, is what does that laser look like uh, in the light? So let's go ahead and turn off the LED, turn on the laser, and there's what the laser looks like. You can probably see the little beam coming down through the, through the screen there. Obviously this, this wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be ideal, but what it could do is help pinpoint something where if you needed to, let's turn on both at the same time. So now you can, I don't know if you, how well you guys can see it. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. There's a uh, green laser right in the middle of that beam and I just put the green laser right on that rock, that piece of concrete. Can you see it? There you go, now you can see the green laser. Yep. So if you needed to pinpoint something, let's see if we can put that right on there. Right next to it, I'm gonna do this one-handed. There we go. So there it is green laser on the rock and if I needed to I could turn off the LED. I 
know that that laser beam shooting out of the top right corner is right on that rock. So I need to steer some to it. So. Anyway, oh, it works pretty good. This works really good. Uh, it's uh, another good combination with the spotlight and the Z30. Uh, definitely usable. Uh, another good tool in the toolbox. So I got something I want to add on to this video. I thought I was done, but I decided to climb up just out of curiosity about how high I could actually identify that piece of concrete. You know, so let's, I know it's just a this is just a test, and that's a chunk of concrete out there. But let's just say that was a missing child, or you know, some other object that we're looking for, whatever it might be. Um, so right now I climbed all the way up to a uh, little over 300 feet. I'm over that same area. You can see the trees down there. And see if I turn off the light. You'll see it's dark as can be. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light again. And we're going to see if we can zoom in on that. If we can see those three holes, which we can now. Now it is more grainy. I'll say that it is more grainy, but you could definitely identify. I can still see the sticks covering it. I can see the leaves on the sticks, and I can see those three holes um, right there on the bottom part of that that chunk of concrete. So this is from 300 feet. That's pretty darn impressive. So uh, I actually don't do any searches from that high, but that'd be nice to cover a a larger area or something of that effect. So anyway, had to add this on there. Um, zoom back out and there's the light beam at 50% from 300 feet. So.